Hi, this is day four of working as a seasonal sales associate at a department store. So it's my fourth day working and I'm scheduled to work from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Today is Christmas Eve, December 24th. And I am late for work right now, so I've got to cut this video short. One thing I wanted to highlight from yesterday is I forgot to mention that I opened an account. I opened a new credit card account. So that was great. And yesterday there was also a learning experience. Seems to be a disconnect between management's priorities and what's actually happening out on the sales floor. I was supposed to be working doing recovery in the toys and tables in the kids department after my lunch break. And I did that for a while. But then I noticed that there was a lack of sales associates working the registers in the kids department. So there's four registers in the kids department, but not all of the registers had, the sales, had sales associates working at them. So I thought, well, this is ridiculous. Why am I out here doing recovery when I could be working one of those registers? So I quickly jumped on one of those registers and started helping customers in order to get that long line down. So it just goes to show you sometimes what you're assigned to do doesn't make sense in terms of what's going on on the sales floor. So you've got to take quick action and be able to recognize when there's a need for a sales associate to work a register that's available and help get that line down. So that's it for right now. I've got to get to work because I'm late. And I will continue this vlog for day four of working as a seasonal sales associate. Bye. I just finished my shift. I was supposed to end at 7 p.m., which was a store closing time. But of course, there was a long line of customers at closing time. So you have to help all the customers that are still in the store that want to make purchases. And consequently, I was there 45 minutes after closing time because I had to handle all those customers and then I had to close the register and go through the process of bringing the cash to the cash office. And it was just another crazy day of non-stop customers, people shopping for Christmas gifts at the last minute. It was crazy. And these customers tend to be difficult customers. They have a lot of items that they want to pay for or they're considering paying for. Some of them want to know the price of many of the items before they decide to purchase it. And they don't know what the price is because supposedly the price checker out on the floor doesn't work when they try it. And then they make a decision right there at the checkout whether they want to purchase the item or uh, pass on it. And therefore these transactions take a long time because you have all these undecided customers with all of this merchandise that they haven't decided whether they want to buy or not. So that really creates a delay in processing customers and getting the line down. And so it just tends to be a difficult process with many of the customers. And then there's issues with their payments. Seems like there's customers that have what I call creative payments and they've got either gift cards or debit cards and just not one form of payment. Um, they can have multiple forms of payment or they want to know if they have rewards on their account before they decide whether to use their account or to use a different card. And it just tends to be a difficult process oftentimes. I think learning today um, it's just being calm, staying collected, keeping a good attitude when you're dealing with difficult customers. I was able to take my breaks on time today, which was good. I started at 10 o'clock, as I said before, and I had a break at 12.30 for 15 minutes, and then I took my lunch break at 2.30 for an hour, and then I had another 15 minute break at 5.30. So it's good that I was able to take my breaks on time, or close to being on time. I think having breaks really helps because it helps to allow you to relax throughout the day and then go back and face <laughs> what can be a lot of difficult customers. Um, I think other lessons learned when the customers have difficulty looking up their credit accounts with their ID and having to enter their social security number, I learned that what the issue is is they've entered their social security number incorrectly. So that's why you get the error screen that the system was not able to bring up their account. So then you just tell them you, may, you must have entered the social security number incorrectly, let's try it again. And then when they try again, it works. So that was a good learning experience for today. Other than that, I wasn't real surprised. It was along the lines of what I expected. A lot of last minute shoppers and working late. But 
there's a lot of difficult customers. It was a crazy situation, but it's over now and it's Christmas Eve and that's it for this week. Bye.